what are the grounds for annulment in Virginia? An annulment is a legal proceeding to declare a marriage to be a nullity from the start. It's different from a divorce where you are simply terminating the marital relationship. There are two broad categories of marriages that may be annulled in Virginia, void marriages and voidable marriages. Void marriages are null a nullity whether you file a legal proceeding or not. Often it's a good idea to file a legal proceeding to obtain a decree that uh, evidences the fact that uh, you are not validly married to that person and that the marriage was a nullity. With avoidable marriage, you must file a proceeding to have the marriage annulled within a certain time period or the marriage will be a valid marriage. Now within those two broad categories, uh, first of all, uh, you must have a license and solemnization for a valid marriage in Virginia. So in the absence of either, either one of those, you have a void marriage. Uh, bigamy and polygamy are also grounds for annulling a marriage. Uh, a person cannot be married to someone else or several people and have a valid marriage in Virginia. Incestuous marriages are also void in Virginia. These are marriages uh, that are prohibited by law because the parties are too close in blood or, or by law. And these would include marriages between ancestors and descendants, brothers and sisters, um, aunts and nephews, uncles and nieces. Now cousin marriages are legal in Virginia, so those are allowed. Uh, marriages with a minor uh, would be uh, void marriages. A minor is someone who's below the age of 18. Once somebody is 18, uh, assuming they have capacity in other respects, they're entitled to enter into a valid marriage. Someone below 18 um, may not marry unless they're emancipated uh, or have the consent of their parent or guardian and they're at least 16 years old. So 16 to 18 you need the consent of the parent or guardian or be emancipated. There are instances in Virginia where a girl who is under the age of 16 and pregnant may get uh, married, may become married if she meets uh, certain other requirements. Now, the second broad category of marriages which may be denulled are voidable marriages. And uh, first on that list, and probably the most common, is fraud or duress. These are also both grounds for setting aside a contract that somebody was uh, uh, defrauded into entering into a contract, the marital contract, or forced into entering into the marital contract. So they didn't freely, uh, knowingly uh, enter into that contract. Mental incapacity or infirmity is also uh, grounds for an annulment and can create a voidable marriage. Uh, this type of marriage can only be uh, annulled by the innocent party, the party who is the one who was suffering from the incapacity at the time the marriage was entered into. Uh, natural or incurable impotency of the body uh, that the other party doesn't know about. So if uh, the husband or wife are not capable of having children and their uh, spouse married uh, without knowing that, a felony conviction before the marriage uh, that the spouse didn't know about is also grounds to have a marriage annulled. Pregnancy by or of another person, uh, and this works both ways, so if the wife is pregnant at the time of the marriage by another man, or if the husband has uh, impregnated another woman and the child is born within 10 months after the uh, marriage uh, ceremony, uh, then his or her spouse can uh, file an annulment action. That would be grounds for annulling the marriage. Uh, finally, uh, if a person's spouse is a prostitute and the person didn't know about this at the time they got married, 
that can be grounds for annulling the marriage. Now, a potential defense uh, to any of these voidable marriages is that the parties cohabited with knowledge of the grounds for the annulment, so they lived together as husband and wife after the party knew about uh, the problem with the marriage or the marital contract, or simply waiting too long. If the party who wants to have the marriage annulled waits until more than two years um, after the marriage to file the suit, that is, that is uh, a defense to the case. Now you should consult with your own Virginia lawyer to discuss the possible grounds of annulment and whether they would apply to your situation.